course. Can you provide two or three examples of how you would promote new small businesses in downtown Ashland? I would be happy to. Uh, I've said this so many times tonight, I feel like a broken record, that promoting small businesses is one of those things that I really want to focus on. Arts and culture uh, is, are, are so important for the community because we need to have a community that is encouraging to new businesses. Now, when I was talking about auto parts stores and, and big businesses, uh, you know, I was, I was mentioning that, that they aren't the small locally owned businesses that we're looking for. We're looking for places that, uh, that express new innovative ideas that, that have their own vision for what's right for Ashland and how they can incorporate themselves into the town. And one of the ways that we can do that is making sure that our downtown area is an area that is full of, of foot traffic and life and energy. Uh, and, and one of the best ways that we can do that is to promote the arts in the downtown area. Uh, it, it encourages other people to come by. It, uh, you know, it, it, it makes, it, it encourages business owners when they see what's happening downtown to, to really focus um, on what they, how, how they can become involved. Uh, I mean, what can I say? I'm a, I was a drama major at Randolph-Macon. I really like the arts. So uh, what, what's something else that we can do? Well, one of my platform pieces is access to information and access to reliable data sources and making sure that our businesses can compete on the internet, making sure that they have reliable access to price competitive options uh, that, that are high speed, that enable them to, uh, to establish a presence online, to, to advertise online, to draw people into the community from far further away than they could otherwise is incredibly important. In fact, more important now than in any other time uh, in, in the world. Uh, you know, right now the United States is 16th globally in internet access, and unless we start fighting this problem from the local level on up, uh, we're never going to get anywhere. So that's, that's one of the ways that we need to encourage small businesses. And uh, to, uh, uh, I lost my place. <laughs> uh, Faye Pritchard, right? Yes, yeah, I did, it's me. I'm just wondering if, I'm, if I went the right direction. I didn't think I did. So the question is, uh, can you provide two or th uh, three examples of how you would promote new and small business in downtown Ashland? Sure. Footwork, footwork, footwork. Um, mm -hmm. The truth is that filling small business takes someone working all the time, someone showing properties, someone seeking opportunities, seeking new business, keeping your ear to the ground for who's looking to expand from another location, who's a tried and true business somewhere else that might want to might want to open a shop here, being supportive of business. One of the things I'm very proud of is that when I came into office, and it's certainly this is not something I have ownership over. That's something the entire council has ownership over. When I came onto the council 12 years, we had, 12 years ago, we had a terrible reputation for dealing with small and large businesses. Um, we were not a friendly group when new businesses came f for us. And right or wrong, businesses often felt that we used our regulation as a stick rather regulations as a stick rather than a carrot. And we may have made a concerted effort to change that, that when a new business comes to town, someone from town greets them as they turn the lock in the door. And we certainly do tell them what the expectations are because we don't want there to be confusion. We don't want people to spend money on things that they're not allowed to do in the district where they are. But there is a business in town who, who said to me quite candidly, I used to own another business here, and when I left, I swore I'd never come back. And my experience this time around has been 100% different. Your staff, Nora, Alexis, have done everything possible to make my business seconds. thrive. And that's what we can do. We can provide personal service as well as looking for the kinds of businesses that we want. And to uh, Terry uh, winston Abri, how can you provide, or can you provide two or three examples of how you would promote new small business in downtown Ashland? Um, again, I, as I said before, we need to have the types of businesses that people will shop at. Um, what 
I might like, someone else might not like. You know, it's that's why I think that um, surveys are necessary. And since we have uh, benefit of the internet now, and the town has, of course, has had for many years uh, a website. I think that if we did surveys to find out what types of businesses people want in town, that would be an idea. I think we also need to work with um, uh, maybe have while we have that the group um, with which works with the the town the council, rather, at Randolph-Macon, I think that there needs to be a subgroup of people who are working together, um, maybe to include the economic development coordinator and maybe the assistant town manager, as well as students who are interested in um, economic development and um, to bring a concern, uh, their concerns to the town in terms of what type of businesses they would like to see here. Because since we have the college so close to us, why not have something that students are interested in uh, instead of taking the money out of the town of Ashland to, you know, um, Henrico? Um, why not have businesses here that students would be interested in? We're talking seconds. about young people, what brings young people to town. Um, or what brings young people to town, uh, uh, I think, also um, in terms of business, small business, um, or businesses, period. What types of business do we want for, for younger people to, to be able to shop at? And as well as our, you know, people like me, senior citizens, what type of businesses would, would we like? So have something that people are completely interested in as opposed to something that we think they Time. might want.